Gorgeous, this is Shah. Welcome back to uh, the ch uh, channel and your to your love reading uh, for June and uh, 2020. And I hope you will enjoy it. I hope you've seen the weeklies, as there is some news there. There will be a competition, and you can win the Shadow Tarot, uh, Shadow Shadowland Tarot deck. Sorry and uh, go and have a look at the review, what they look like and I'm using them in the love reading as well I've, I think they're lovely I'm using two of my favorite decks one is by Monica Bravinsky like you just saw and the other one is from Yes, Yasmin Westwood and the Angel Feather uh, by Michelle and the uh, Love Oracle deck um, if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading, then please look below the video in the description box um, or have a look at the uh, uh, right-hand corner with the white dot and that will take you to the website. And, and I will be doing updates on the competition on the website and the community tab in YouTube as well. So keep an eye peeled for that. Um, also, Welcome to my Cyber Angels. Thank you for sharing and liking and being so faithful. My gratitude towards you. You make the channel what it is. You know that. I can't say it often enough. And welcome to new people. Please subscribe and hit the bell and on all. And then you'll be notified when I go live. And when I go live, I give away free cards. But I'm also open to questions that are supported with a donation from a super chat or a super sticker so let's and we are in the period of Gemini okay this very very active let's see whether you're going to get m lots of messages or meeting a gem this coming month if you're not hooked up and you might be hooked up with a Gemini or an air sign okay so anyway the first card that you have is the two of cups Look at this. He's got the two of cups. He's holding a cup and a fish comes out or a frog and then an other cup and an other fish. I think they're so cute. Well, the two of cups uh, for me means like the soulmate. You might meet your soulmate or you might have already met your soulmate. You're emotionally imbalanced. Awesome. Oh wow, and I said an air sign. Look at the King of Cups. Oh sorry, it's not it's uh, the King of Cups is also a uh, King of Swords is also blue. You've got the King of Cups. So uh you might be meeting a Cancer, Scorpio or a Pisces. Cancer is the prominent one because the king is the first house of water, so that is the king, but don't exclude Scorpio or Pisces. It, he is a loving, nurturing man, passionate, handsome, woohoo, um, and sensual, and nurturing. Nurturing. He is a good provider, and he's a lovely character. You might meet him if you're not hooked up in the first week of June. Okay, in the second week of June, remember time is man-made, so that it could be throughout June but it could already be starting in the um, beginning of June and if you are hooked up he might even be more nurturing and feel that you are his soulmate wow that is absolutely beautiful and here you have the five of swords the five of swords be careful what you say um, and how you say it and what you do in the second week because swords cut at both sides and the five of swords means disagreements and arguments so be careful what you say or what you do um, in general but also definitely with your partner there's a lot of love coming out in all readings I, th I feel uh, definitely in Aries and Taurus you have the Ten of Cups. Something is coming to an end. And you're going into a beautiful beginning. 
you might find out you're pregnant. A 10 means completion. Perhaps you might find out that um, you are pregnant because perhaps that is you, that was your wish and you've been trying. Wow. Again, cups cups are prominent in your reading up to now. Okay, so you could um, be moving home, extending, uh, uh, extending the word extending. That's what I hear. This could be with a child, but it could be also that you might build an extension onto your home because you're finding out you're pregnant, or you might be moving home. Happy families. Look at the rainbow. Beautiful. Heaven and earth are joined together and they are sending you completion and love. In the third week, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Your wish is coming true. Perhaps you felt imprisoned. Nine is also an ending and there is a new beginning. Wow you can free yourself you feel free with this person that you are with if it's a water sign or going to hook up with definitely you're going into a better life and you've got the ace of swords you've got victory wow beautiful you might be even getting married you're so emotionally fulfilled that you might be getting married because the sword represents institutions, municipalities and victory means that you've, your wish has come true if that is what your wish was to get married. You might be going to a municipality so that could be the registry office that could be an advocate to sign a prenup. You might be getting married because June weddings are the most popular I believe okay it could also be with an air sign new communication of love woohoo nice one magic magic and you've got the three of pentacles the three of pentacles means that you've got recognition recognition somebody might have an eye on you this could be recognition in at work but also recognition of somebody that thinks you're awesome so go for it you're no longer an apprentice or somebody that they didn't pay much attention to they've got full attention for you now you've been creative number three in attracting attention look at that you've got ace of cups the truth is coming out. Somebody's going to tell you how they feel. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So it's an air sign, a water sign, or again, a confirmation of the king. It could be uh, Cancer prominently, but also Scorpio and Pisces. So pay attention. New love new beginnings emotionally your heart your cup flows over you might be taking something up to the next level like moving away from high rise to a house and garden because you might be pregnant or getting a second baby or a third baby and you've got the knight of swords again air you're going to get news this could come through email text message or telephone call official news because this is the swords officiality institutions news in municipalities institutions being that if you are buying a house advocate notary public or um, a real estate agent okay everything is round it's accepted or the bank will say yes it's all right you've got your mortgage awesome or you could be meeting a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarium again the knight has no uh, doesn't represent it's only the pages that represent air signs uh, 
uh, the zodiac signs and the kings and the queens then you've got the ten of wands it might be tough but you're going to have victory you're going to have new love new emotional balance wow you could together you stand strong you're going to do it together there's an end of difficulties and worries and a new beginning you're going into this new beginning together you've got your soul men soulmate by your side awesome remember this is a general reading if it doesn't resonate with you please look at your moon sign or your rising sign now you've got the gray angel feather and the answer is maybe maybe well by the reading it looks positiver than just maybe now um, there is something that comes into mind when a lady says maybe um, she mean uh, sorry when a lady says no perhaps somebody might or a man um, but the poem goes lady but it can refer also to a man she's no lady she means maybe when a lady says maybe now I'm getting this wrong when a lady says no she means maybe when a lady sh says maybe she means yes so she's no lady <laughs> that, w that just came into my mind I don't know why but somebody might have said no before and uh, when they say no they mean maybe and when now it might be maybe so it will be a yes that is the message that I'm trying to get across sorry that I got it um, wrong but it's been so long since I've heard that and it just popped into my brain so finally you will get the truth somebody loves you and you might be mad about somebody and the truth will come out the angels acknowledge your question but are unable to give you a definite answer at this time while well, I'm reading this in May so the energy will shift even after one second energy can shift and that is what grey means it's very doubtful it can shift and by the looks of the reading it will you've got difficult times it might be difficult to start off with but definitely from the third week second third week and definitely at the end of the month ooh, somebody might don't might not want to feel imprisoned but they realize that if you do things together you'll have a much richer loving fulfilled life physically mentally um, emotionally boom especially if it's your soulmate even if you're hooked up and you want to take it up to a new refreshing level the gray angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of neutral neutrality gray is neutral color a mixture of black and white there is a gray area involved here a neutral place that lies between familiar and unfamiliar this may be a transition period that could serve to be heaven sent if you are feeling trapped in some present circumstance boom boom hand the situation over to the angels immediately the angels have heard your question and would like to be to reassure you that all is often not, not as it seems that's what I'm saying the energy can shift okay it will go to yes all is often not as it seems they have been working behind the scenes to bring you the most positive and happy outcome okay and that's showing in the cards your best interests are always the angels priority but patience is required now the angels is angel saril angel saril the angel of guidance you can wear silver flint and pyram pyrite to help you to bring down the stress level 
and peace of mind to get yourself free and look at this this is even metal so that is silver so get on to the silver okay Taurus surround yourself with silver love it the last card is love yourself first definitely because then you'll be the beacon and the magnet and they want that your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive boom I love it Taurus so go for it go for it my darling I hope it it resonates with you if it doesn't then please go to your moon sign and your rising sign and take note and you will see the results it might not happen in June but I think it will for most of you it will come it will come in divine time but give it to the angels and the divine love you take care and please share and like and I hope to see you in the live session. Ciao, ciao.